York One and Parent Company Time Warner Cable continue their partnership with Connect a Million Minds, highlighting education through science, technology, engineering, and math. Our Adam Balkan has more on an old puzzle reinvigorated. Less than two minutes. That's how fast 12-year-old Amy Pimentel can solve a Rubik's Cube. Her record... One minute, 55 seconds. That's how long it takes you to solve a Rubik's Cube? And could you do that before this class, or did you learn that here? I learned that here. In how many days? In one day. That class, part of New York City Parks and Rec after school programs that have brought in the You Can Do the Rubik's Cube initiative. An initiative the Cube's developers came up with as a way to both celebrate the iconic puzzle's 30th birthday and use it as a teaching tool. The program comes with a box of cubes and booklets teaching kids and the adults looking over their shoulders how to solve it. They teach them life lessons. Um, it could be pretty frustrating when you're doing it, so some of them could give up. Well, actually, it's been actually the opposite. It's, um, it's a boost. It boosts their self-confidence. A lot of the kids will do one of the stages and then go home and try it again, and then they come back and they're excited about it. So it's, it's great for their confidence. It encourages them. I think it encourages them that you know, if it's something that they don't normally feel comfortable doing or are familiar with, they actually encourages them to try something new. And the kids here say it's especially gratifying to take it home to mom and dad and teach them how to solve the toy they likely gave up trying to master 20 or 30 years ago. I, I kind of found it interesting and I was excited the first time I completed the Rubik's Cube. In my home, I found it very difficult and when you see other people do it, you get, you get really inspired of how, how they find it. And for teachers who want to bring one of these into the classroom, developers have even created an online math program for it. At the initiative's website, www.youcandothecube.com, educators can download lesson plans that integrate the puzzle into certain math curricula which creators insist can help cover topics including area, perimeter, volume, angles, and algorithms. The site also has solution guides, activities for parents and youth organizations, and even information on cube-solving competitions. For more on programs that engage teenagers in science, technology, engineering, and math, you can visit our corporate website promoting such activities at www.connectamillionminds.com. Adam Balkin, New York One.